Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? Gamecock Chuck coming at you this evening on my way home from work. Just want to hop on here and talk about a little bit about last night's action. Uh, number one, South Carolina was on the road taking on Georgia. Uh, before we get started, like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel if you guys like Gamecock content in the right spot. So hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell to get notified when I put out my content. Let's go. Like I said, South Carolina was in action last night taking on Georgia. Uh, they come out of there with a very hard fault, hard earned and hard fault victory, 68 to 51. Uh, South Carolina uh, was, South Carolina trailed the first half, surprisingly. Uh, Georgia came out and they just, they were ready to, they were ready to take on South Carolina. They loaded the paint, they double teamed uh, Leah Boston. Anytime that ball got down low to her, I mean, there was like two to three women on top of her, basically, just just stuff, just, just stifling her down low. She couldn't get anything off, couldn't get any good shots off. She struggled for the most part. She only ended up tonight with only four points and like five rebounds, which is real uncharacteristic of Aaliyah Boston and her game. I mean, just credit to Georgia's defense, their game plan, the way they the way they uh, wanted to attack South Carolina. It worked for the first 20 minutes. Uh, the second half, you know, South Carolina managed to to, uh, to to hang around and come back and finally uh, take the lead in the second half, and they never relinquished that lead once they got it in the second half. Um, like I said, statistically, Aaliyah Boston, it wasn't her night as far as from a statistical point, but with her drawing double and triple teams, it allowed, you know, er other key players to get open as well. Bree, uh, Bree Beal hit a, a couple clutch three-pointers uh, in the game. Uh, Bree, uh, Bree Hall got in there, got a couple key uh, shot, a couple, uh, couple key buckets for us. But the story of the night was Zaya Cook. This young lady went off and had a game, a career-high game, actually. She scored 31 points in uh, South Carolina's victory last night. And to be quite honest with you, if she wouldn't have had a good, as good enough as good a shooting performance or scoring performance as she had last night, South Carolina probably would have walked out of there with an L last night. And I know a lot of people are going to give me crap about that because doubting that I'm really a true fan and all that. But no, nah, seriously, I look at it the way you should look at it. Don't look at it with them garnet glasses. You know, you got to keep your mind open and, and just – I call it call like I see it when I'm, when I'm watching these games. I mean, that, that's just how I am. And if, and if you've watched any of my videos – you should know that by now. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything and, and say that we dominated this game from start to finish because we did not. So it was, a, it was a tough win, but a win is a win. South Carolina moves to 14-0 and on the season and 2-0 and in conference play. So we shall see, you know, how this team uh, how this team goes moving on to the next match. So with that being said, hey, don't forget to like, share, Drop a comment. Let me know what you guys think of uh, the game last night, the performances by Zia Cook. And uh, until next time, thank you guys for watching. Gamecock Chuck, I'm out. Go Gamecocks.